as we can create and connect to the database using node.js i'm sure that you guess it that we also can uh, create table using and uh, using node.js so here uh, you don't have to do anything else here you just have to define another uh, property so i'm gonna that property name is uh, database database and its database name is going to be the database that we created here which is name is node so i'm going to come in the editor and say node and now the only thing that we have to change is the sql query here so i'm going to say for creating a table we, we're going to say create a table and the table name is going to be something like user then we define the column that we, you want it to be in this table the first one is going to be id and you have to pass a data type to it so its data, data type is going to be int and its length is going to be a hundred it means that it can handle a hundred uh, a hundred a number with a hundred length uh, or character so we want to define another column too so i'm going to call it first a name and uh, it's a good practice to define the column name using a hyphen or underscore but it's, i just like uh, camel casing so I, I pass the camel casing here so here we we have to define uh, the data type uh, for it too so i'm going to say bar char and its length is going to be a hundred if you don't know about the bar char it's uh, going to hold uh, characters or a string so uh, the last one is going to be last name and its type also again it's going to be bar char and its length is going to be a hundred so now if i save it and if everything will be fine this is well we also have to change here so i'm going to say table created and if everything will be fine and uh, it's it's going to create a table with these columns in our node in our node uh, database so now save it and go here and say node index.js and after that we get connected and here we get table created which everything which shows that everything is fine i've tried multiple times to do that now we have to refresh this i'm going to refresh it and after that we refresh we're going to go in a node and after we go in the node here we have a table if, we, if i press on that and that table in this user here it's uh, defining it and we defined a uh, table with the column of uh, id first name and last name so this was from there uh, creating a table in the next tutorial we will learn about to uh, how to we can create uh, how to we how can we insert a data in a table using node.js so see you in the next tutorial bye